And just how impressed were you with the performance that Jamison had tonight? Well, I was one of the best I've seen in a long time. You know, just, you know, dominant from the get-go, you know, especially with the type of lineup they have and the star power they have, the guys that can, you know, they're a pretty, pretty complete offense. You know, you got guys that can get on base, they got guys that can hit for power. Um, but for him to, you know, navigate that all the way to the eighth like that is, is pretty impressive. You mentioned that he gets to top the order in the seventh and then heads into the eighth inning. What's the feeling around the team as, as he's trying to continue that perfect game bit? Uh, you're not really trying to think about it or talk about it or look at him. And, you know, but, you know, Jamo's Mr. Cool, man. He was playing it cool. He was acting like, you know, it was, you know, a 2-2 game in the fifth. You know, he, he never never showed anything like any pressure, any worry about anything. And, um, you know, we were all getting pretty excited in there. But, you know, like I said, they're a scrappy team. And, you know, they were able to scrap out that run against them. But, uh, you know, Rizzo, Rizzo answered back in a big way. From what we've seen from, like, almost the middle of last year with Jamo, what have you noticed just about how he's really turned into such a, a solid part of the rotation? Well, this is this is command for all pitches. You know, I faced him a couple of times in Pittsburgh, and it was you know more heater, you know, big curveball. But now he's, you know, heater at the top of the zone. He's still got the great curveball, you know, cutter, slider, you know, mixing a change up here and there, you know. But just having that, all those pitches, throw it at any time, um, plus the the velo that he has, you know, and. Um, and, you know, it's not tough what he did, you know, coming back from injury. You never know if you're going to be back to, you know, who you were. And, you know, I think he, I think he came back stronger. So it's, it's glad we got him. And it's been, you know, fun to play behind him, you know, the past couple of years. Aaron, when you're facing two pitchers like Nestor and Jameson in the same day, how hard would that be to face them? Wow, just just two different pitchers, um, both very elite at what they do. You know, you got Nestor from the left side that, you know, can run the fastball, you know, top of the zone, mix it off with that cutter. You know, he's messing with your time and he's dropping angles. He's doing all sorts of things out there and uh, makes it tough. And then you got Jamo, who's just, a, I feel, to me, is like just a power pitcher. You know, he's going to come at you with his best stuff. He's going to challenge you. And um, when you got to face both of them in a series, it's tough. But to face them both in, you know, one day, um, it makes for a tough day where you're just trying to maybe scrap out a one for four against those guys. What does it say about your rotation that they've put up so much, so many good starts in a row right now? You know, just, just a lot of hard work. You know, these guys, you know, during this whole lockout period, you know, we all stayed in, stayed in touch and talked a lot. And, you know, the pitchers definitely were, they were working their butt off, you know. And, you know, it's it's finally showing here because I've got a chance to face Clay and Jamo, some of these guys, you know, in the off season. They're, they were <laughs> mid-season form, you know, in, in February. So it was, you know, I knew it was going to be a good year for all these guys and, you know, happy to see what they've done so far. Karen, how was it?